Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I'll be going to explain you triangular wave generator using operational amplifier in great details. Before I start with explanation, let me show you how many things that I'm going to cover in this video. So here, first I'll be explaining you block diagram of triangular wave generator. And based on block diagram, I'll be making circuit of triangular wave generator using operational amplifier. And based on circuit, I'll explain you working of triangular wave generator and based on working, I'll be explaining you waveforms of triangular wave generator. And with these waveforms, there are few essential parameters like what is the frequency of this triangular wave generator. So that is what the case which I'm going to derive at last. So let us begin this video with first agenda that is block diagram of triangular wave generator. See. In block diagram of triangular wave generator, we have basic two blocks. First is comparator and second is integrator. This comparator that is generating square wave and these square waves are integrated by integrator and output is triangular wave. Right. So first block is generating square wave over here that is comparator and these square waves are integrated by integrator and output is triangular wave. One should know if you have input as a square wave, then output will be triangular wave with integrator. Integrator is already covered in this video lecture series. So you just go through it in which I have explained everything in great details. Here, let us have circuit based on that block diagram. So here, if you observe, see, we have two operational amplifier. This first operational amplifier that we are using as a comparator. So this operational amplifier that we are using as a comparator that will be generating square wave at V01. And this second op-amp that we are using as an integrator. So this integrator that is converting the square wave into triangular wave. Now, based on this circuit, let us try to understand working of it. See, working of this entire circuit that is purely based on voltage at this terminal that is VA. So, as if VA is greater than 0, then what has to be V01? And as if VA is less than 0, then what has to be V01? So, first of all, you need to understand what is V01. So, here this V01, this V01 that is there as per differential configuration. If I say gain of this op-m is A, then V0 will be gain A into differential input at positive terminal, input is VA, at negative terminal, input is ground. So V01, that is A into VA. See, this A is there in terms of 10 to the power 5, 10 to the power 6. So this V01, that cannot go beyond plus V and minus V, right? So if VA is greater than 0, then V01 that will go towards plus V. And as if this VA is less than 0, then V01 that will go towards minus V. So based on these values, here we will be having square wave. Now this square wave means plus V and minus V that we will be integrating by this integrator. See this integrator that is there in inverting configuration. So if you have plus V voltage, output will be negative ramp. And if this V01 that is minus V, then output will be positive ramp. So that is how we will be having output over here. Right. Now, let us try to understand this by waveforms. So here, see at V01, we will be having square wave. So square wave is happening in between V and minus V, you can observe. And based on that, we have triangular wave over here, whereas if V01 is plus V, output is negative ramp over here. And as if V01 is minus V, output is positive ramp over here, right? So that is how there is a generation of triangular wave from square wave over here, right? Now here, very essential thing that you need to note down. See, at this point, there is a transition from plus V to minus V. And at this point, there is a transition from minus V to plus V. So at this location, 
at this location if you calibrate value of VA then that VA will be zero why the reason is if you observe see this VA that is coming from feedback over here so if VA is zero after that only VA can be positive or negative so as and when there is a transition from plus V to minus V at that time VA value that will become zero right and based on that there is the generation of square wave over here right so at this instant before switching there will be value of VA that is equals to zero now based on this waveforms we are will with to derive frequency so what is frequency so frequency will be based on time period here see time period that is t over here so value of frequency that is 1 by t so to derive equation of frequency there are few essential things that you need to note down let us see that step by step to derive frequency equation of output here i'll be considering node va see here with node va let us consider entering current over here that is i1 and in this wing leaving current is i2 and in this branch leaving current that is ib so if you apply kcl at node va then entering current that is equals to leaving current here entering current that is i1 and leaving current that is i2 and ib so i1 is equals to i2 plus ib here you see ib current that is input current to this positive terminal of this op amp one should know op amp is having very high input impedance so this ib current over here that is negligible so here i'll be neglecting this ib so i1 is equals to i2 now what is the value of i1 see i1 is happening in between va and v out so at this terminal voltage is v out so what is the value of i1 i1 is v out minus va divided by r2 and what is the value of i2 i2 is happening in between va and v not 1 i2's direction is this so i2 is va minus v not 1 divided by r1 now i'll be using this equation to derive frequency equation so to derive frequency equation first of all i need to calculate peak to peak value at output side if you observe see at output here peak to peak value that is happening in between v dash and minus v dash so i'll be considering two points one point is this and second point is this if you consider this point so at this point just before switching v not 1 that is v and here v a is equals to 0 so if you substitute v not 1 that is equals to v and v a is equals to 0 you will be getting v out value so that will be r2 by r1 and this v a is 0 and this v not 1 that is v so here we will be having minus v over here right now see if you consider this second point so at this second point at this second point just before switching v a is 0 and this v not 1 that is minus v so let us substitute that so v out is how much that is r2 by r1 into v not 1 that is minus v so minus minus plus so that will be v over here so v out that is ranging in between these two values right so what is peak to peak value see v out that is ranging in between these two value one value is this and second value is this that we have calculated over here by substituting these values right so peak to peak value of v out will be difference of these two so that is r2 by r1 into this v minus minus plus v so you can say that is two times of r2 by r1 into v so this is what peak to peak value that we have right now this peak to peak value that one can calculate based on integrator even you see here this waveforms that is happening as per integrator right 
so output of integrator is what output of integrator with this circuit with this circuit that is happening as per integration of input right so let me write that equation so here output of integrator that even we will be calculating peak to peak so that is minus 1 by r c f you see time constant that is happening as per this r and c f right so minus 1 by r c f integration from 0 to t input that is v naught 1 dt here if i say i am going to consider time period as per 0 to t which is happening over here you see which is happening over here from this value to this value let us say this is 0 and let us say this is t by 2 so i am considering time range from 0 to t by 2 at that time this v naught 1 that is minus v right so here let us substitute the limits 0 to t by 2 at that time v naught 1 is minus v now we just need to integrate this so minus minus plus v divided by r c f and integration of 1 is t limit is there from 0 to t by 2 if you substitute the limits then you will be getting v t by 2 r c f right so this is what v not pick to pick so now we have two equations see this is equation number one and this is equation number two for pick to pick values if you compare one and two now here we just need to have value of time period t based on time period t we can have frequency right so t is how much see if you take this on other side that will be 4 r r2 cf divided by r1 only as this v is getting cancelled right so here now we have time period formula right so based on time period one can have frequency frequency is 1 by t so frequency will be how much r1 divided by 4 r r2 into cf so this is the basic equation for frequency of triangular wave right so if you select this components based on that one can define value of frequency of triangular wave right and if you want to calculate what is the value of peak to peak then that will be as per 2 into r2 by r1 into v that is peak to peak value of this of this triangular wave right so here i have calculated what is this time period t based on that we have calculated frequency and if you want to calculate peak to peak value of this output then that is simply that is simply 2 into r2 by r1 into v where v is biasing voltage of operational amplifier always this peak to peak value that is a bit lower than v the reason is somewhat drop will happen right but ideally it has to be this only but always value of peak to peak output that will be a bit lower than this v for example if i say this v is there as per plus 15 and minus 15 in this op amp right plus 15 and minus 15 in this op amp so here output will be bit slide lower than plus 15 and minus 15 it could be 14.3 or 14.5 right so it will be a bit lower always but all these calculations are ideal calculations i hope you have understood all those things still if anything that you would like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video